Welcome back to Halloween Town, everybody, in Kingdom Hearts. I'm Colorful Artie, and, well, we need to explore, the, explore this world today in Guillotine Square. There's a name. And the Harvests are here. But something's off about them. They're not attacking us. They're just hanging out. Very interesting. Also, it's not playing this as Halloween yet. That's interesting. And now, allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Ellington! Those ghosts will be a big hit at this year's Halloween! Thank you, thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone-chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. Then I'll go attend to the decorations. <laughs> Yep, that's Jack Skellington. He's a great character. Yeah, but like, apparently in Halloween Town, the Heartless are just like, yeah, we're good. We're just chillin'. Alright. It's hard to know where to go. Not out there. Here we go. The lab entryway. Pumpkin scream. I don't understand. Maybe the guidance system was damaged in the explosion. Nonsense. My devices are always perfect. Oh, I've got it. Why, of course. The heartless need a heart. Doctor, do you think we can add a heart to that device? Certainly. A heart's not all that complicated. Ah. Let's get to work. To make a heart, first take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! Uh, so... Spoiler alert, uh, Heartless do have hearts, so why do they need to add another one? This is where some of the plot holes come in. You really can unlock it for them? Why not? If they succeed, we won't have to fight the Heartless, right? Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance, too. Don't you? Not really. Also, I've got, like, the weirdest looking Hi, Keyblade for this world. that was amazing! Uh, <laughs> and you are... Sora! Well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. What's this Heartless doing here? Oh, the Heartless came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. <laughs> so, the doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. Okay, doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. Mix them all together, and we have a heart. Well, well, that's interesting. It failed! Jack's like, no! <laughs> Maybe we're missing some ingredients. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl! Don't know why I bothered creating her! 
Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Sure. Heck yeah. And now we get Jack added to our party, and I do want Jack in, because Jack's pretty good. Sorry, Goofy. I like Jack as a character and it's a partner. Ooh, look at that ghoulish delight on his face. So yeah, we've got like the weirdest looking keyboard. It's so out of place in this world. It's like, oh, we got a bright colorful keyboard in this dark dreary world. Even the Heartless look different in this world. They've got a darker feel to them. And if we examine the shelf, we get a torn page. Sweet. Sally should have the memory we need, but she's not here. Where could that girl be? I... I feel like that started out decent, but then it got quickly it went terrible. Yeah, it's like the Heartless come to Halloween Town. Jack's just like, "Ooh, wits, let's get them to dance for us," <laughs> and he seems to be succeeding too. Jack, Jack, we have a major crisis. The Heartless are completely out of control. We can't stop them. <laughs> hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. Donald's like, I'm not sure about that. The Heartless are completely out of control! The festival will be ruined! Yeah, if you haven't seen Nightmare Before Christmas before, it's a weird movie, but it's also great. It's got great music. Nice going, Donald! Yeah, Jack's kind of a magic user like Donald, but he specializes in, like, more odd magic. And, he, you know, he can rip the Heartless apart with his bare hands as well. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Bright Gem, which is ironic in this world. Alright, we've been to Guillotine Gate. Let's go through here. This is a weird world when it comes to treasure chests, so like, right here? Pulling that will allow us to open a chest like, I think this one maybe? Dalmatian puppies! I want to say you have to pull this doorbell in order to open that chest. Or maybe it's a different one. There's also plenty of chests you can't open in this world until you get some more shared abilities. Everyone hail to the pumpkin song. Yeah, notice how the shadows have like a more ghostly look to them? That's cause of Halloween Town! Oh yeah, Jack, you've got some equipment, don't you? Uh, we'll let you keep those. <laughs> Jack's got applause! Upstage foes with this dramatic long range sliding attack? I've never actually looked at these before. Nice going, Jack. You can keep those. Ooh, Goofy got more abilities. Could've kept... Tw yeah, treasure magnet. Even though he's not in our party. Let's see... Can I climb on these pumpkins? No, I cannot. It's very hard to see in this world. Also, the heart of us like to hide in this world. Ah, 
I like to show off all the partners in this game, except Tarzan, who's just terrible. Yeah, we need to go this way. To the graveyard! Very atmospheric world. It's very well done. Let's check this place, too, once the Heartless here are out of the way. Jack got more strength! Sweet! I really wish you could take the party members out, in, like, in this world, out to other worlds. So, like, you could use Jack and Agrabah or stuff like that. Ooh, White Knights! That's what they're called. The little onion guys. Take that. Zero! Zero? Have you seen Sally anywhere? Huh? Is something wrong, Jack? No, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? We obtained the forget me not. <laughs> Jack, I have a bad feeling about this. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envision it. Trust me, you're going to love it. Sally's a nice girl. Jack, why not have these kids star in the festival instead? They both look rather frightful and funny too. They'd be better than the Heartless. Uh, I kinda got over fiends to do. And I'm shy, so no thanks. Not a fan of those kids, but what can you do? Back to the lab. Dr. Finkelstein, we got the memory we need, which is apparently a flower. Yes, this is it! Now just one more ingredient. We need surprise to complete the heart. The mayor should know where it is. And he didn't tell us? Bonehead Jack is really making a heart. <laughs> I'll be jiggered. That works for me. Ooh, when I get my hands on that. Well, I've got no hands, but I'm still gonna nab that heart and control the heart. <laughs> and yep, that's Oogie Boogie. Guess who the boss of this world is? Couldn't be him. No siree. And I just realized this world has a lot of movie scenes. Oh, this is boring dialogue. People need more excitement in their lives. Or just me kicking Heartless Butt. That works too.
This is why people like blind playthroughs, of course. Jack, what items do you have? Nothing now. He <laughs> used the last one. Where's the mayor? I think the mayor's at Guillotine Gate. <laughs> Jack's like, no! I want to fight the Heartless! Nope, he's not at Guillotine Gate. I'm silly, he's in the graveyard again. Just deeper into the graveyard than Sally was. Who's Philip? Jack's just like killing the heartless of his bare hands. That's amazing. He does. He literally has no weapon. All right, I've had enough of the fighting already. Come on. Granted, the music's pretty awesome. Heal. To the graveyard, here we go. These guys again. They were pretending to be gargoyles. There we go. Lovely. Who's a gem? There we go. And if we examine this coffin, we can jump in, which and it magically warps us to a new part of the graveyard. There's the mayor. Ghosts rise from these tombstones. Check the tombstones in the order the ghosts appear. If you get it wrong, you're in for a surprise. Alright, this one, then that one, then that one. There we go. Splendid! Now go look at the pumpkin! Where? The camera's so bad, I can't... <laughs> I can't see! Oh, there we go. There used to be a pumpkin here. We get the jack-in-the-box! That'll work as our surprise! Oh, now we're at the signature Curly Hill. Yuck, 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 yuck. Ah, blasted search ghosts. White Knights are annoying as well. Nice, Jack. I like how I can one combo them.
Nice Jack. Eventually, I will have to switch back to Goofy, though. We go. Oh my! <laughs> I have to switch back to Goofy because there are Trinity Marks in this world coming up. And specifically, there's one Trinity Mark where if you don't get it on your first visit, then it just it disappears. So, if you want 100%, you're going to need to get that. Alright. So there's this platform here. If you shoot, shoot it with fire, it'll go up. And if we jump on it, it'll take us back to the beginning of the graveyard. Ooh, white mushrooms! <laughs> now they've got more emotions. If they spin, you want to use gra uh, arrow on them. Can't... Let me see! Oh wait, you're hot. Blizzard? What else do you want, little cutie? Defense. There you go! Spirit Shard Mystery Goo! Very nice. Thunder. What the heck?! That's what you wanted! He must have changed at the very, very last second. Yep, he changes at the last second. Thanks for that. Jack, can you get your butt out of his face? There you go. Spirit chart again. No mystery goo for me. No, you just ran off, darn it. Well, they never wanted us to use stop or gravity on them, which was interesting. For gravity, they get on the ground and start doing a push ups. For stop, I'm really not sure. I think they just stop in place. I like killing multiple Heartless with the finishing blow. Research lab, excellent. Hey, doctor! Yes, this is it! There you go. This time it's sure to work. Yeah. That's no good. The nerve of those little hooligans stealing my work! Well, we better go get it back. Yeah, lock, shock, and barrel are just the worst. Ugh, we lost them. Zero! To them quick. Good boy, Zero. The ghost of your dead dog has never looked so good. I learned Blitz and got more defense! Yeah! Blitz is a good move. You learn it much more quickly if you choose the sword. That was wonderful, Sora. Way to one combo them.
Oh, I love that sight. The Curly Hill is so beautiful. <laughs> and that bathtub is amazing. It's a claw-footed bathtub. Get it? Alright. Blitz. Strike enemies ahead of you with a powerful finishing combo. It makes your combos more powerful. So, let's see. I will unequip... Blech. Sorry, treasure magnet. It's mainly affects your ground combos. Thank you, Donald. Okay, thanks for taking all the other guys. I didn't even get to show off Blitz. There we go, that's Blitz. So instead of doing like a round sweep at the end, you do a powerful single strike. Donald got more AP! Sweet! This means that Donald can equip Treasure Magnet. Shloop! There they are. <laughs> I just realized. That is not what I realized. I haven't shown off Bambi yet! Greatest summon in the game. Look how cute he is! So what does Bambi do, you ask? Well, when you've got Bambi out, you can spam magic endlessly. Because he just drops MP orbs everywhere. So just basically spam thunder. And oh no, I'm out of MP! Let's just walk around and pick up some of these big gazillion orbs that Bambi's dropping. <laughs> Baby's just like, I'm dropping bubbles everywhere! <laughs> this is ridiculous. And you can see him once per room. It is outrageous. Trust me, that's just the tip of the iceberg. If I, if I turned on Treasure Magnet, he's even better. Because you don't have to wander around and picking the stuff up. It just automatically attracts to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are kind of tough. I'm doing it for the synthesis items. <sighs> Thank you, Blitz. And yes, Bambi is ridiculously good on bosses as well as common enemies. Especially this upcoming boss. <laughs> Alright, can we go on the Curly Kill now? Yes, we can. You gotta kill all the enemies before you can, though. And I feel like this episode's gonna be longer than usual, because I'm not anywhere close to a save point. The closest one is backtracking to Guillotine Square. And I really don't want to do that. 
Bambi, help me out again! <laughs> I just love how the, like, the best summon in the game is so adorable. Thank you, Bambi. <laughs> oh man, okay. I kind of want to re equip Treasure Magnet. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Blitz. But the slightly more powerful ground combos really aren't worth it. Oh, my MP's gone! <laughs> Leave Bambi when you need it. Maybe when Bambi disappears, your MP goes back to zero? Dispel G. <laughs> Don't try to do big, uh, combos of when you're right underneath a platform. Especially when the enemies are in the air. If you want, you can go back to Guillotine Square there, it brings you out in the main fountain area. Oogie's Manor's over there. Those gargoyles flying around. They're annoying to hit. Thank you, Mr. Jim. Come on, grab on! Uh, Sora doesn't want to grab on, of course. You know what, I'm just gonna leave those. For when I get a certain shared ability. Welcome to Oogie Manor. I knew Oogie Boogie was behind this. Why is Oogie Boogie still living here if everyone knows he's just gonna cause trouble again? Why? You know what? No, I'm avoiding you guys. Darn it, treasure chest, I want it. This is very hard because enemies like to push you off the edge. And then you have to climb all the way back up. Little chest here with an ether. That wasn't really worth it. Also, Oogie's Manor is very weird. But to start, we're just going to climb to the top as fast as we can. That's the Trinity Mark you can miss.
I don't understand why you have to shoot fire from down here, wait for it to go up, then wait for it to come all the way back down. Nope! Ah! No. No! Sora keeps overshooting the target! I blame you for that, Donald. And the gargoyles in this part are very annoying because they like to spawn in the air. Thundera is amazing in this world. <laughs> Here we are. Top of the manor. The evil playroom. Huh? And it's mini-boss time. Come, Bambi! Let us make a joke of this mini-boss. Yay! So, we're just gonna use Thunder like crazy in this battle. Thunder. <laughs> yep, and that's the mini boss! <laughs> Thanks, Bambi! <laughs> That is a tough mini boss if you don't do that. We were just following orders. Oogie Boogie told us to steal the heart, and yeah, and you still did it. It's all Barrel's fault. It was his idea to tell Oogie Boogie about the heart. Liar. Yeah, that's right. But but you guys said you should be ashamed. What brats? But anyways, that's where we're actually. Hang on, before I forget. You need to hit that. That'll unlock a door at the bottom of the manor. And that's where we're going to leave the episode off for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.